Okay, now that our application is complete, let's go ahead and test it out. So we're going to go ahead and click on this preview icon, or you can press F5, or you can go to the project menu and select preview. Okay, I'm going to minimize our main application so that we can see what's going on here. Now, we have no items, of course, in our list box because our database is still empty. I'm going to go ahead and type an item in here, and I'm just going to put in a name and a number. This is just random information. Now I'll click on the add label and you'll notice it's instantly added to our list box here. Now let's go ahead and add a few different ones. In this one I'm going to put an office number plus a home number. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll click add. You can see it sorts them out alphabetically as we go along. And I'm going to add maybe one last item. Okay, I'll click on Add, and you can see it's added to our database. Now let's take a look inside our PHP My Admin panel at what's going on in our database. We'll click on our data table, and then we'll click on Browse. As you can see here, the data has been stored within our database, and we can view it here. Okay, so you can keep track of what's going on via your PHP Admin anytime you want to. Okay, back at our... Oops, that's the wrong one. I'll just minimize these. Back at our main application, there we go, we've got our list here and we can select any of these items as you can see with our mouse. Now each of those items has a label that goes along with it and accordingly when we go and press the delete label it's going to track which one of these uh, items we have selected for example the name or the number and it's going to delete the appropriate entry from the database. So let's go ahead and delete the Susan White entry by selecting her name and pressing the delete label. As you can see it instantly disappears, disappears from our list and if I go back and reload our database you can see it's gone from our database indeed. Okay, so let's go ahead now and try and delete one of these by selecting the number. So we'll select John Smith's number and press delete and as you can see the entry is gone because it knew which of those um, items was the name and which one was the number and accordingly it could match that with the database and deal with that information. Now again here we have this sorted in alphabetical order so if we say Adam Jones, it's going to sort it according to that A. And then if we add here, for example, um, let's say something a little later in the alphabet, like Victor, let's say Victor Brown, and then we put in a number. When we add it, it goes automatically to the bottom of the list. Okay, and that's because we, we did that in our PHP script. We specified for it to sort and order our information alphabetically. Okay, so that's our application. I'm going to go ahead and delete these items just by clicking on them and close down our application. And that's basically the test of the application. Now let's go on to the next video tutorial where we'll, we'll sort of review what we've done and try and come together with a cohesive picture of how all this can work into your projects and presentations.